Good morning, folks. Top quakes of the day hit the Caribbean, Atlantic, and the Chilean coastlines as we get the West Pacific taking the day off. Chile might have more coming at the swarm location. Let's reshare the solar wind and lightning paper from the May 15th news. Still getting a ton of emails about the articles written describing this discovery. I believe there's some confusion existing regarding them being the same source. Remember, we pointed out that it was Mike Lockwood, that same one we quoted in the conference speech. A point of advice when doing these searches, it's always better to find and share the actual papers rather than a journalist's take on the paper. You'll be seeing a ton of info on the sun and lightning in the near future. Latest from ESA, the Venus Express is being plunged into the thick atmosphere of the planet. The video and accompanying article are top recommendations. They even mention the meteorological changes on Venus that dwarf earthly climate change in magnitude, even disregarding scale. I also recommend heading over to the Thunderbolts channel for their latest interview. Pierce is a vault of knowledge, and he and I take wholly different roads to arrive at the same position standing shoulder to shoulder. Won't you join us? Also... NOAA's Environmental Visualization Lab. Remember the April 23rd video about El Nino? It's coming. Take the cold aspect of climate extremes that have dominated for months and know we're going to shift back to major heat this fall and winter. Also check out NASA's Earth Observatory showing some of the California fires. Been a rough go as heat and high winds follow their drought. You remember yesterday we called out the tropical development south of Mexico. We even had a quasi Uyen candidate with a moderate filament release shown yesterday. And now the National Hurricane Center has put focus directly on that area. The main concern down under is down under Tasmania. Power Antarctic low drawing up a convergence that will skirt the southern portions of the land today and tomorrow. That flooding in Europe has been diabolical. So much energetic release from that system that it effectively equalized its pressure leaving the main lows still timid in the North Atlantic. High moisture content and therefore trail likelihood across most of the U.S. today with the strongest aspects to the storm also somewhat scattered. This will be about checking your local forecast tonight. We're also going to begin monitoring storms and seismicity at the West Coast depending on what these lows do out here. Hercules tossed a gamma ray burst our way last night. Again, it's the only high level energy intake we're seeing as the solar grand minimum just grabbed a cab at the airport. He'll be here soon. Earth's magnetic connection to the sun is with the departing active regions. We're going to focus instead on the CME threats, little though they may be with beta magnetic class up north. If the separation is not seen at the back of the southern region, we could mix there very easily today. Those two groups actually did put out tiny CMEs yesterday, but we probably will not notice them in the telemetry. According to the endless spiral at NOAA, we should be in a moderate coronal hole stream. Indeed, the stream is far weaker than anyone predicted, and the density shocks we thought we saw yesterday have not been followed with any significant speed to the streams. We're all calm here at Earth. Not so on the sun, with coronal fields still dancing up north and the negative southern coronal hole coming in to be earth-facing today. She actually gained a bit of power from yesterday, so hopefully this won't result in larger shaking. Hopefully the weak planetary geometry and space weather tempers the instability. Last but not least, don't forget it's Saturday, so we'll upload another audio session in a few hours under Fly on the Wall to the website. Top stories will include geoengineering news and some more definite medium and long-range weather predictions. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.